Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, a video about Legoset 6359, horse trailer from 1986. I found a complete set with box and manual. I immediately noticed that the box is still in very good condition. It's a typical Legoland box of the 80s. The artwork looks nice, and even though the set is not that big, there are some good suggestions on the back for making other buildings with the same parts. The inlay is also in great condition and is usually white, but here it's a blue one. I haven't seen this much. The manual is also included and still looks very good after almost 40 years. It's still an awkward size that takes up half of your table, just like the manuals from the 1970s. But I do see a clear positive difference in the images. It looks more like photos and not hand-drawn drawings. The set consists of 141 parts and one minifig, and it has the theme, town, with the sub-theme, leisure. I immediately noticed some nice parts. First, the minifig. This one is unique, and can only be found in this set in this combination of torso, trousers, and cap. And then, of course, there is the horse. That was quite new at that time, and could mainly be found in the castle sets. The accompanying blue saddle has one clip, and it appears only in 10 sets in this shape. And then these stickers, a beautiful image, and unique. You will only find these stickers in this set. I now notice that there should actually be four separate stickers in total, but only two need to be used. So in principle two, spare stickers are missing here. Finally, these wheels. These are not very rare, but I have never seen them in a set before in the TransClear version, complete with the accompanying rubber straps. The rest of the parts are basic. What also struck me is that yellow bricks can't be found in this set. You will find the yellow color in the minifig, but so no bricks. I also see only one brick with a print. So, let's build the set. First, the horse. The nice thing is that you can actually assemble it in three different ways. You can add a black 1x2 brick and a 1x2 tile. Or you can place the saddle on it. Or you can attach the jockey's cart to it. I'm going to assemble that car first. I think it's a nice design, but when it comes to finishing, it looks like the budget ran out at the end. On the one hand, it has nice parts such as the harness and the transparent wheels, but on the other hand, the top of the cart is in my opinion not completely finished. You could perfectly have placed there a chair with a 1x2 slope brick on both sides to finish it completely. Then the Jeep. I like this part, it's a vehicle base. That part was first used in 1981. Furthermore, the structure is classic for the 80s. This model has ready-made doors and a steering wheel. And it is very positive that the stickers are not attached in the middle over these two bricks. This window with hinge is also well chosen, but I see that I have the wrong one. It should be a transparent window instead of a blue one. I can replace that later. Furthermore, it strikes me again that there is no seat for the driver. The folding roof and the slope bricks on the roof are a good plus, and the big wheels are cool too. You need to be sure that you have the right ones, so the type you can remove from the axle, and for which you have an extra part per wheel. This is an example of an older model. The 
The result is good. It really looks like a Jeep. The print on the front is a nice accent. And it's good that the saddle fits well. It clamps between the sides and does not shift when you drive the car. So there are a lot of pluses, but also here in terms of finish, some extra bricks could perhaps have been added. An antenna, extra lamps, or other bricks on the roof, for example. It's a solid and nice but sober design. Finally, I will build the trailer. The base consists of regular black basic parts, supplemented with red and white bricks. Here are also some nice parts such as the doors, an openable back and top. The wheels here also consist of different parts, but are a bit smaller. The design is good and looks realistic. It really looks like a horse transport trailer. The horse fits in perfectly. I can make the same comment here again in terms of finishing. With some extra bricks, it would have been just a little bit better. Inside the trailer, for example, it would have been nice to use yellow bricks and attach them to the floor that could represent hay in which the horse can stand. Furthermore, I also find the roof a bit empty, but extra details on both the Jeep and the trailer may have been too much. But I would have liked to see some extra details on at least one of the two elements. And finally, it would have been very nice to have a sticker or print on the sides with the inscription Horses. Here in Belgium, I often see such trailers driving around. And it is useful to know that when you drive past such a trailer, you realize that it concerns horse transport. So, my comments mainly have to do with the finish of the set. I assume that designers would have liked to add extra bricks, but that it couldn't be achieved because they had to make choices and work with an imposed budget. Still, this set is cool and gets a nice place in my collection. Because of the beautiful box and colorful inlay, the theme, some nice parts, and the horse. Feel free to comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.